Oh my god, you cut your hair! I did! Wow! I did! I had the really wow. long hair last time you saw me, Mutton. Wow! So that's a first. So that's what you look like! Yeah, yeah. What's so the first? Uh, the fact that you see me with the short hair. Yeah! It's the first time. And th today we are going to talk about the first time we are going to share a recipe that we didn't really like. Aww. Now, uh, every once in a while, when uh, we are talking to people who watch these three ingredient recipes, we will get sent a recipe. They will send us emails saying, have you checked out this recipe? Uh -huh. And there's one that's going around. I'm not going to say on what websites. You've probably seen it, though. It is a uh, recipe for chocolate brownies. Chocolate brownies. And it's made with pumpkin. Yeah. Yeah. And it sounds like... You know it's, uh, it tastes good. Yeah, you would think so. This is something that it's, um, it's vegan. And mm -hmm. it is uh, three ingredients. Uh -huh. And it sounds like a lot of the recipes we've made that are vegan and that have three ingredients and are very simple. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, the, the thing about this recipe is not that it's bad. It's just mm -hmm. I think it could use a little bit of improvement. So we're going to tell you the recipe that we were sent. Um, we're going to tell you how it turned out. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to let you know what I think you, we could do to improve it. Mm -hmm. So this week it's a little bit different. Um, weird. It's it's a little bit weird, but we did take a, a new thing. We took a very we, we took did take a long time making these today. And I think that every once in a while, when you do something in the kitchen does, that doesn't quite work out, especially if it's a recipe that everybody's sharing, because I uh, we had a good number you have of to people. Be honest. You have to be honest, and especially if something's going around, you see it on Facebook all the time. And you say those look fantastic. How could it be that good. Sometimes it's not that good, but you can maybe improve upon it a little bit. So that's what yeah, I think we're going to do this week. I think you'll improve upon it sometime. Yep. So this week we are going to make a recipe for chocolate pumpkin brownies mm -hmm. that came off the internet. And uh, we thank everybody who has sent it to us. And we're going to tell you why it didn't work out for us. And maybe what you could do in case you wanted to make some chocolate pumpkin brownies that came out pretty well and stayed vegan. Okay, let's begin. All right. Okay, again, this is a recipe that we got and that has been going around. You might have seen it in a video. Maybe somebody sent it to you on Facebook or Twitter or something like that. So we're going to give you... I saw mine on Facebook. Yep. So we're going to uh, just give you this recipe as it was told to us, and then I'll tell you how we might want to improve it. So our first ingredient is three cups of pumpkin puree. Three cups? Three cups. Now, this is pumpkin puree how and... How many the... cups are in a can? Uh, a can has about one and a half cups, so it's about two cans. Okay. Um, and this is uh, pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie filling. You don't want the spices in the pumpkin pie filling. Okay. Okay. All right. The next ingredient in this recipe is two cups of cocoa. Cocoa! Yep. So that's where you're going to get the chocolatey flavor. Now, two cups of cocoa is a lot of cocoa. A lot of cocoa? It is. And cocoa by itself, without any sweetener, is very bitter. So we were going to see that this was probably going to turn out to be a very bittersweet kind of brownie. And we'll tell you at the end that, yeah, just as a hint, this is kind of what it came out. So the recipe called for two cups of cocoa. Two cups of cocoa. Mm -hmm. And our final ingredient in this recipe that we were sent is one and a half cups of peanut butter. Does it have to be creamy or can, can it be... Crunchy. Uh, you could probably use creamy or crunchy. Uh, I said while I was making this that you probably wanted to use a peanut butter, not a natural peanut butter, but a peanut butter that has sweeteners in it, because the only sweetness that comes in here is a tiny bit from the pumpkin, which isn't very sweet at all, and then everything else comes from the peanut butter, which is expected to sweeten up these brownies entirely. Okay. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to follow the uh, directions on this recipe, and then we'll come back, show you how it turned out, and tell you what didn't work out and maybe how to improve it. Okay. To start, I have everything already measured out. It just is easier to start that way for me, especially with things that are a little bit messy and a little bit difficult to measure when you are measuring something that's very liquidy, very powdery, and very, very sticky. I have three cups of pumpkin puree, this one, we are not using pumpkin pie filling. I know a lot of times we say that we can use the pumpkin pie filling instead of pumpkin puree. We don't want this to taste like pumpkin spice. We really do want this to taste just like brownies. And so we want the chocolate flavor to come through. So we're not going to be adding anything other than the pumpkin, which is what gives this its body. To that, we are adding in one and a half cups of peanut butter. I do suggest that you don't use a natural peanut butter for this. 
just because this doesn't have a lot of sweetener in it. The pumpkin itself is quite sweet and the peanut butter with a little bit of additional sugar that's in a commercial peanut butter is going to be fairly sweet as well. But because we don't have that extra ingredient to add in sugar, we're going to want to make sure that we get all the sweetness we can. Now, if you find that these aren't sweet enough for you when you make them, you can always add in some sugar to taste. Uh, just make sure that you don't add in too much and check the ratios on that. What I would say is that it may help if you substitute out some of the sugar for some of the cocoa powder so that you're doing dry to dry. I am going to mix this. I am actually going to be using my electric beaters. Usually with brownies, you're told not to mix them too much because the flour in your brownies, if you mix it too much, you'll activate the gluten and you'll make them very tough. Because we don't have any flour in this, we can really make sure that we get a smooth consistency because nothing's going to toughen up this. So I'm going to use my electric beaters and make sure it's all very smooth, especially this peanut butter and pumpkin mixture, which could have a little bit of difficulty incorporating because the peanut butter is so sticky and the pumpkin is so liquidy. So we'll start by mixing these two together. All right, and now I'm just going to add in my cocoa. I think I'll add in a little bit at a time and then mix it as I go. Again, there's no real reason why you couldn't do this by hand, but this is a much thicker mixture than you may be used to with brownies. So these electric mixers come in very handy. You could also use a stand mixer if you want to. This is all mixed up. You may notice this is a much thicker brownie batter than you're used to. That's because we don't have any eggs in this or any other liquids. It's all just holding together. And I don't think that this is going to rise at all like brownies would in the oven. So all of the bulk of the brownies are already in the batter. It's just going to hold that shape. Now, this is also a very messy mixture to make. I got brownie batter all over everything, including I got it onto my parchment paper. Just kind of went every bit everywhere while I was mixing this together. I have lined my 8x8 glass dish with parchment paper and a little bit of baking spray. And that's just going to allow this to release. It's a very thick batter and it's also a very sticky batter. So at the very least, make sure that you grease your baking tray because I don't think these will release all that easily without a little bit of assistance. And of course, parchment paper really, really helps with that. And now I'm spreading this out as evenly as I can. Because this is such a thick batter, once again, and such a sticky batter, I wanna make sure it's as even as possible all, on all sides because I don't think that this is a batter that will spread too much as it bakes. There's really nothing that's going to melt away. So I just want to make sure that I get every inch of this covered. Now this is ready to go into the oven. I have preheated my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I will put this in here for 15 minutes and then test it to make sure that a toothpick that goes into the center comes out clean and then it will be ready to cool, cut, and serve. I, 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 don't, I, I don't think so. You don't think so? I, I, I'm sorry, it, it just, it, it didn't work. It really didn't work out. Now, if you look, take a look at these, these look like really rich, fudgy brownies, and they actually smell pretty good too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they smell like chocolate, they smell like cocoa. Um, I'm just gonna tell you- It's bitter? Um, it's, it's quite bitter. Um, and I'm gonna tell you a couple of things that didn't work out. One, um, in the recipe, it said to cook these for 15 minutes. Now. Um, the size of the pan, the amount of batter that you have, 15 minutes, it was still liquid. It was still exactly the same. So I actually cooked these for uh, 45 to 50 minutes. That's a long time. That's a very long time for brownies. Um, these are very heavy, which for a brownie, it's not just... Don't drop them. Yeah, it's not necessarily a bad thing for a brownie, but these are very, very heavy and very, um, I don't know, they're, they're kind of heavy, a little wet, and a little dry all at the same time. 
they absolutely don't have uh, enough sweetness in them. Um, so I would say that these probably didn't come out the way that we expected them to. Now, if you are desperate for a brownie and you cannot have processed sugar and you absolutely have to keep vegan, then maybe these would work out for you. But in a minute, we will talk about some improvements you can make. But if you, if you want to try this, I say go for it, but you may be a little bit disappointed. Aww. Mm. Aww. Okay, so these didn't work out. Those brownies did not work out. Mm -mm. No. So uh, the first thing I would say if you uh, wanted to make these with most of the exact same recipe, but to sweeten it up, I would say cut the cocoa in half and add in about a cup to a cup and a half of sugar, pure sugar. Mm. Now that's going to add another ingredient. It's not going to be three ingredients, but it's certainly going to sweeten things up and it's going to take away a little bit of the bitterness of the cocoa. Number two, I would say put this into a 9 by 13 pan. Mm. Now do you know why we would do that? To spread it out a little To bit. spread it out a little bit so you would cook faster because I definitely, uh, you, you definitely are, are trying to cook way too much all at once. Um, and the third thing that I would say is maybe these would work better as cookies. As cookies? As cookies because that's gonna, they're going to cook all the way around much faster. Um, definitely you're going to want to put the sugar in there. Um, and it's going to, it, it's just going to uh, be a much nicer texture all around with a nice soft middle. So I would say add some sugar, make it in either a much larger pan or cut everything in half. Cut all of the ingredients in half to make an 8x8 eight eight pan. And then maybe you just want to make them with cookies. Now the recipes that I've seen also say that you can frost them. And they say three ingredients, but then they have a whole frosting that's a completely different set of ingredients. Well, that's, that's a, yeah, exactly. So, so you yeah. can do it three, three ingredients plus three ingredients. And and that's just, it's or way too many ingredients if you're going to be trying to make it as simple as that. Plus, I think that the frosting that they put on it was so super sweet that it didn't really matter what was underneath it. So again, always experiment with these uh, recipes that, uh, if even the ones that if we give you... If at first you don't succeed. If at first you don't succeed, you can try, try again. And I think in a couple of weeks we should come back and try to make an improved version of these brownies. What that do you think? That would be interesting. I think that would be interesting. If you think that that would be interesting, you can leave a comment down below. Or if you've seen a recipe that you think, I don't even know if this is going to turn out, maybe this is something that we can try again. We can try making recipes that mm, maybe we're not quite so sure about. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Well, thanks so much for joining me, Mom. Welcome. I'm sorry. Sorry it didn't work out. You know though. what? Uh, if this is your first three ingredient recipe of, with us, uh, usually we try these well beforehand and we make sure that they're very tasty. But I really wanted to try this recipe and I really uh, always am going to try to be honest with everyone. So um, if you have, like we said, if you have some recipes you'd like us to, to give a uh, test to, we might even try doing that every once in a while. Trying some that look a little bit yeah. too good to be true and then try to improve on them. Yeah. So what can people do if they want to uh, they want to keep up with all the stuff we do well besides commenting down below and, can, mm -hmm. and, 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 and and sending stuff to us you could share with your friends yeah definitely if you share these videos with your friends you can either uh, post the little share button on Facebook on Twitter send it to Instagram even just email your friends or show it to yeah. people at work you could also Subscribe! Subscribe! Yep. If you subscribe, you will get a notification every time we upload a new video. And uh, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, sorry it didn't work out this time. Thank you to everybody who sent us this recipe. I definitely wanted to try it. I did think it was a little too good to be true. Yeah, it was a little too good to be true. Yeah. But we will be back at another time and we will try to make a different version of this recipe. And I think it'll work out. Okay. Okay, so thanks so much for joining us this time. We'll see bye you again bye. next time. Bye-bye. <clears throat> so how do you want to do this? I don't know. <laughs> this one's a tough one. Okay. Um, you, you can start. I'm going to start. Okay. 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 All right. That sounds good. Okay. Okay. Okay.